choke and take him out. Jim, there's no doubt who is one of the favorites here tonight. Well, there's no oh, doubt about it. He's gotten respect of the whole country yeah, because in the first two uh, fights, he exhibited so many He's techniques. Right and in those Look techniques, out. never hurt his opponent, made them all submit. He is a master of the chokehold. Here's Rich Goins. Wow, promotions are pleased to present Ultimate Fighting Championship 4. Once again, there are no rules. Please welcome our contestants for our first quarterfinal match, fighting out of the red corner, weighing in at 190 pounds, 5'10", 51 years old. He is the oldest competitor ever in the history of Ultimate Fighting Championships the founder of Chinese Goju Karate, and the holder of 10 different black belts in martial arts, the legend from New York City, Ron the Black Dragon, Van Cleave. Van Cleave. And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner, a four-time veteran of the Ultimate Fighting Championship, six foot one, 180 pounds, 28 years old, a fourth degree black belt in the art of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. 51 and eight as an amateur, eight and one as a pro, two-time Ultimate Fighting Champion from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Royce Gracie. A fourth degree black belt in Gracie Jiu Jitsu, the world levy light heavyweight Jiu Jitsu champion, two time winner of the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Quick look at the tail of the tape. Obviously, the big difference is in the age. 24 years, the junior is Hoist Gracie. And we are underway. Here's the double leg. He's going to take him down. Gracie's got him to the canvas quickly, and this is usually where he forces his opponent to submit or works quickly with a chokehold. He's in very, very tight. You can see Van Cleef trying to grab his hair. It's not going to work. Gracie right now is basically resting. Gracie very comfortable on the canvas. And it happened to Van Cleef so quick as Gracie took him down. You know, in a way, Bruce Van Cleef opened himself for this when he did that kick. Gracie caught the leg. That's what he's known for. He waits for his opponent to extend himself towards him. Then he rushes, crowds, takes him to the ground, to the mat here. Oh, that was a decent knee by Van Cleef. Blocked a little bit by Gracie's arm. And once he gets you here, he'll work very slowly and methodically. He's trying not to spend too much energy. He'll work to either get a submission hold on an elbow or go for the choke. Gracie continues to dominate on the canvas. Well, what you're seeing right now is the ball constrictor. He doesn't like that particular nickname, but he moves like one. And this is perfect for him because he can conserve his energy. Because I know last time he got totally dehydrated, totally was fatigued. It's a matter of time, I think, fellas. Gracie wearing down his opponent, just working slowly on the canvas. There's a punch to the body just to the inside. He'll rabbit punch until he brings the arm down. Van Cleef, when he goes to defend his ribs, that's when Gracie will move up and start to attack the head. Van Cleef in amazing shape for 51 years of age as the Gracie camp looks on. Almost two minutes in. Gracie usually does quick work. His first seven opponents fell at a total time of just under 11 minutes. You can see him just taking his time. He's not going to rush this. He realizes he's in very good control. He's an expert at this manta position in wrestling. We call this grapevine. Oh, some serious shots, to, elbow shots to the head. And he'll just keep softening him up until Van Cleef either gets frustrated and does something stupid, or he's going to roll to his stomach to avoid blows, and that's when he goes for the choke. Van Cleef showing great heart. Trying to move, trying to flip Gracie off of him, but unable to do so. And in that position, you want to have your legs on the outside, which Van Cleef doesn't have. 
Again, Gracie hitting to the back of the head. This is very fatiguing for Van Cleef. He really can't get off any shots. He's holding the gi of Gracie to keep him away from him, to keep no distance between them so Gracie can't get off those kinds of shots. Gracie wants separation. He wants to sit up and then be able to deliver strikes directly down. Gracie, who won a long savage bout with Kimo in UFC 3, but was unable to fight his next match. He's trying to get revenge tonight. There it is. He's turned over. Now you look for the choke. Gracie, a master of the choke. It's like Jim said, it's like a boa constrictor. If you move a little bit, he cinches it that little bit tighter. And it just goes on and on and on. The blows to the head. Get that head in position, get that arm under, get the chokehold. The Gracie family. Rudy Lamar. Referee Big John McCarthy right on top of the action. He can't stop the fight. That's it. Tap that is all. Boyce Gracie opens up with a victory in three minutes and 49 seconds. What up? What up? That cleef is amazing. And there's that respect that you will see throughout the evening from the fighters. Oh, absolutely. As you look at this, the softening up, the blows behind the head, the blows behind the neck, always working for that position, always keeping balance, always knowing exactly what to do. Once he gets you in that position, it's very difficult to do anything except try to carry it on a little longer. In a way, Bruce Van Cleef wanted Gracie. He wanted him right away. In fact, after the press conference, he told me there is a God. And in a way, a 50-year-old, one-year-old man going against Gracie might be the safest pick. A big boxer could probably really devastate him with punches to the head. Gracie makes you submit, so a you're not going to get that striking trauma. A point I'd like to make is that Horace could have actually punched him in the face. Oh, I'm sure and he did, could. And did not do it. I saw that particular point. He's because probably his father his told hands. him not to. His father told him not to hurt anyone unnecessarily. That's a part of the family tradition. Well, early in the century, Hoist's father, Elio, learned traditional jujitsu from a traveling Japanese master. Over almost seven decades, the techniques were modified and perfected to reflect modern street fighting situations in Brazil. Got a look at Gracie's victory over Ron Van Cleef. 51 years of age from Brooklyn, New York. And he wanted to go out, as you mentioned, Jeff, if he was going to lose. He might as well lose to the guy who is predicted to win this all. Certainly, Hoist is a front runner. So one bout is in the books in this 